What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I get quite a few comments throughout the years. How do I fix my TV? For example, uh, I have a Vizio TV that has no power. What board do I replace? So whether you have an LCD or LED TV, Sony, Samsung, uh, uh, Vizio, doesn't matter. If you have no power and the, if the TV is completely dead, uh, first thing I do when I walk into a customer's house is unplug the power cord, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in, and see if that hard resets the TV to get it up and wor working again. If it doesn't, and then I move on to checking the standby voltage. There's another way to check the standby voltage by looking at the TV. If the TV is dead, has no power, whether you press the power button on the remote or the TV itself, but you do have standby light on the TV, the little red glowing light on the front of the, front of the TV, that usually means that the power board is working and the main logic board is defective. But if you have no power, no standby light, that usually means that your power board is most likely defective or bad. And slash or your main logic board is bad. In very rare cases, um, that standby light can illuminate and you'll have like maybe four volts um, enough to illuminate the LED, standby LED light, but not enough to actually turn on the logic functions in the main logic board. So when you press the on button, that signal gets first sent to the main board. And then the CPU sends a signal back to the power board, I'm sorry, to turn on the high voltage. Now, if you had a power surge, that can take out your um, power board or main logic board. If your surge knocked out your cable box, but it didn't trip the circuit breaker, usually the um, surge entered through the cable box, knocking out your cable box, and then traveled through the HDMI cable, connected to your main logic board, knocking out the main logic board. So I would replace the main logic board in that case. But if your circuit breaker in your house turned off, then I would focus on the power board because maybe the surge entered through the circuit breaker, traveling through your um, AC outlet, through your power cord, knocking out the power board in your TV. Or it could be both. Your main logic board and your power board could be defective. So that's something to think about. Uh, I'm also going to leave links in the video description below where to get TV boards. Uh, ShopJimmy.com is a great source. ElectroPartsOnline.com, another great source. Um, there's other great sources for TV boards, but those are my two main sources uh, to get TV boards. If you have any really reliable sources that you know uh, where to get TV boards, I would like to hear that in the um, comment section below. Say your TV is turning on and then shutting down. That could mean uh, you have a bad uh, TCOM board or LED driver board forcing the circuit to shut down. What you could do is disconnect that circuit, um, take out the TCOM board that is, and turn on the TV and see if the TV stays on. If the TV stays on without the TCOM board and circuit, then you could assume that the TCOM board is defective. Now, as soon as you put the TCOM board back in and then you turn the TV on and again, the TV shuts off after like three seconds of being on, then you know it's a defective TCOM board forcing the TV to shut down. If your LED driver board is uh, defective, it can uh, cause the TV to shut down. So what you do is unplug the, T, um, the LED driver board from the circuit, turn on the TV and see if the TV stays on without the LED driver board. If it does, then you can assume that the LED driver board is defective, but it could also mean um, LED strips are defective too as well, which is part of the backlight circuit. Anytime you open up the TV and removing boards or removing um, connections from the boards, always unplug the power cord the whole entire time you're working on the TV. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. If you know anyone this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you wanna check out my other TV repair videos, click on this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.